Have you ever wondered what makes one crayfish breed superior to another? It's a riveting question with numerous answers. Crayfish farming is indeed a complex endeavor, and the quality of the breed is vital to the success of this venture. Firstly, it's crucial to realize that the health and vigor of the crayfish are pivotal. For instance, a quality breed will exhibit clear, bright eyes, a sign a healthy organism. Their flesh will be firm and not flabby, indicating good muscle health and nutritional status. A strong smell of the sea is yet another sign of a healthy crayfish as it suggests a fresh catch, free from any rot or decay. Moreover, the breed should be active and have a robust appetite. Vibrant coloration is a crucial indicator as you see, this can reveal much about a crayfish's diet and overall health. For example, a diet rich in certain types of algae and krill can give crayfish a vibrant blue or red color, signaling good health and high nutritional intake. It's critical to choose individuals that are free from any disease, injury, or deformities. Common problems to look out for include shell disease, which causes black spots on the shell or white spot disease marked by white spots on the body and legs. Injuries such as missing limbs or deformities like curled abdomens should also be avoided when selecting crayfish for breeding. Choosing the right breed goes beyond just the appearance. It's about understanding the signs of good health and making informed choices that will contribute to successful crayfish farming. Secondly, the two key factors of size and growth rate are crucial when evaluating superior crayfish breeds. These breeds grow at a faster pace and reach a larger size compared to their counterparts. For example, the Cherex quadricarinatus, or the Australian Red Claw, is known for its rapid growth rate and large size, making it a highly sought-after breed. The ability to monitor these growth rates, such as measuring the crayfish's weight and size at regular intervals, can provide valuable insights into the breed's potential profitability. Moreover, the reproduction rate is another important factor to assess breed quality. Superior breeds like the Procambrus clarkii or the Louisiana crayfish have a prolific breeding behavior with females producing large quantities of healthy offspring. Regularly assessing factors such as egg production, hatching success, and survival rates of the hatchlings can help determine the reproductive quality of the breed. Genetic traits also play a significant role in determining breed quality. For instance, the Asticus Asticus or the European crayfish is highly desirable for its resistance to disease, exceptional environmental adaptability, and attractive blue color. On the other hand, the Orconectes rusticus or rusty crayfish exhibits aggressive behavior, which makes it less desirable for farming. Genetic testing and selective breeding programs can assist in identifying and enhancing these traits. Survivability is an essential attribute of a quality breed. Crayfish that can survive and reproduce consistently under varying environmental conditions and management practices demonstrate a robust and well-adapted breed. For example, the Procambrus clarkii is known for its ability to survive in diverse habitats and is thus a preferred choice for a variety of farming setups. Lastly, market demand cannot be ignored. Breeds like the Cherex quadricarinatus and Procambrus clarkii meet consumer preferences in terms of taste, size, and appearance often holding a higher market value. By understanding market trends and consumer preferences, you can guide your selection of the breed. For instance, the current trend towards larger, meatier crayfish has boosted the popularity of the Australian Red Claw. On the other hand, the unique color patterns of the Procambrus alini, or the electric blue crayfish, have made it a favorite for aquarium enthusiasts. In sum, the quality of a crayfish breed hinges on a number of crucial factors each playing a substantial role in contributing to a successful crayfish farming venture. Taking the health of the crayfish into consideration, for instance, is paramount as robust crayfish can cope better with diseases and harsh conditions. The size of the crayfish impacts not only the yield but also the market demand, with larger crayfish often commanding higher prices. As for reproduction and genetics, these inform the long-term sustainability of the farm. Strong genetics and high reproduction rates ensure the farm can continue to produce high-quality crayfish for years to come. Meanwhile, survivability is a testament to the hardiness of the breed to withstand varying environmental conditions. Successful crayfish farms such as the Louisiana Procambrus farm and the Australian Red Claw hatchery are prime examples of making informed decisions based on these vital factors.
These farms took the time to carefully consider each aspect and select the breed that would best suit their specific situations. This ultimately led to their prosperous farming operations. And remember, choosing the right breed is not just the first step, but perhaps one of the most consequential decisions one has to make in crayfish farming. The breed you choose sets the tone for the farm's future. A superior breed can lead to fruitful yields and a thriving business, while a poor choice can mean years of struggle and potential failure. So make your choice wisely, and here's to successful farming.